Hey guys, what is up? Cody Carter coming at you once again. Today we have a sealed, uh, zip tied little prepping kit that I made probably about six, eight months ago. Um, it's just been sitting under my couch in this room the whole time. Um, I had already made one for my car. It was supposed to be for my car, so I just kind of set it to the side and well, the rest is history. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see what's inside. Um, let's see, I got the zip tie on there, kind of tight. So, if I could take it off, would be excellent. And we're in, beautiful. So, hope everybody's doing well. So, this is our maiden opening. So, what we have, there we go. First things first is a little mini notebook. Um, I've read from a lot of different places that a notebook or something to write, some way to write something down is actually really important. Uh, so you can write down all the stuff that you need to remember, directions, where certain stuff is that you might need. Um, obviously we have some water, so we have two of these bottles. Now I will tell you from personal experience, and I don't think you'll be able to see it on the camera, but uh, if these bottles, these are Ice Mountain, just regular Ice Mountain water bottles, if these get exposed to the cold, if these get uh, like a lot of cold or heat, what happens is the inner lining of it will start to shed. So you'll be able to hold it up to some light. You'll be able to see some flex in it. I think these are fine because like I said, they've stayed inside, but just keep that in mind. So if you're storing water and uh, you go to take a gulp and you see a bunch of floaters, I wouldn't drink it. Um, I've got a little plastic fire kit. So this has um, waterproof matches, um, some cotton balls, a fire striker, a lighter, some twine, and one of these it's like a little kerosene soaked fire starter thing. Um, you know, just get a little bit of everything, you know? Why not? Uh, let's see what else. The plastic thing. Uh, got some glow sticks. So, they still seem to be fine. Uh, multi tool. I've got the, obviously, it's just a regular multi tool. So, it's got the knives, it's got the little pliers, a little screwdriver, nothing fancy about it. Uh, a couple extra batteries and is this my only light in here? Because I have this light and I think that's actually it. That's it. Apparently I thought this would suffice. So I've got this um, and it's also got the glow. That actually looks kind of cool. Um, little glow stick on the outside and of course it flashes and it's got a little oh whoops a little whistle on the end of it so so that's not too bad it's got a couple four extra batteries um a can of soup that is best by april 29th or april 2019 um little knife i wondered where this little guy ran off to so nothing special just a little cheap i think it was like three dollar folding knife um a deck of cards and let me tell you something when i have gone camping by myself cards is a lot of fun oh here's my flashlight yeah so not bad it, it, it's not a great flashlight i think it's actually a dollar store flashlight but these things work remarkably well um my little first aid kit I've got some anti-diarrhea medicine, I've got alcohol prep pads, gauze, band-aids, tape, ibuprofen, oh the dog wants in. Uh, hang on! Uh, emergency survival blanket, obviously. Those are, those are so small, those are nice, you can fit them in pretty much anything. Um, toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, and the pen for the notepad. And then I've got a couple masks. So these are just pretty self-explanatory. They're just the masks for um, wearing, I think these are more of like sick masks rather than dust masks, but you can, you get the point. I mean, it, it'll help cover your face from different things. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I've kept in the survival bag. That's what I deemed worthy enough to pack away 
and apparently forget about for a while. I wondered where that little knife had gone, so it was nice to find it. Um, let's see, pack it all up. So this is basically, like I said, this is basically one of the ones that I have all these little bags, little zip up bags. Um, and it's one of the ones that I would generally, this one I would either keep at work or I would keep in my car. And I've had a few situations where there's really no good place to hide things at my work. So um, generally speaking, I would just keep it in the car. Uh, but I already have a car bag, and it's a nice car bag. It's a, it's a lot bigger. It's an actual duffel bag. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Um, and then I've had it where I have had it at work, and it's been moderately hidden, you know, where people generally wouldn't feel any need to look. And um, people have found it, opened it, wondered what it was doing there. I mean, I don't ever keep, you know, large weapons in it, or I don't keep a machete at work or anything. Um, it's just more of an irritation thing that people find it and look through it. So it's just not something, unless I'm hiding it, like burying it in the backyard behind a building. It's not something I really need at work if I have one, especially if I have my EDC stuff and I have one in the car. It's just not necessary to have all that. Um, so I've got quite a few more survival kits, which I'll probably end up showing. I just kind of wanted to shake things up a little bit, do a little survival video you know what I mean I've done the, the eating videos I've done the the video game videos um, so I just kind of wanted to shake things up a little bit uh, I'm actually really excited for god I look like I'm some kind of zombie or something um, I'm actually pretty excited for when it starts to get light out I like doing videos in my car I always take this with me but it's never light like by the time that I wake up and get to work it's dark and by the time I leave for work on my way home it's dark so it's just I need it another hour so I can make a couple of videos in my car or something. Um, but that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, and remember, it's your life. Live it.